Uh, these products are known as LAC, and in some countries it's L-A-Q-U-E, L-A-C, L-A-C-K, L-A-K, but this is nothing, not to be confused with lacquer, this is what's called LAC, and it originated in the Netherlands, and the term normally is applied by a manufacturer to his absolute finest quality enamel, the finest ground enamel. Okay? Um, you know, we, we, do, we have distinctions in this country like interior enamel, exterior enamel, marine enamel. Uh, believe it or not, in the Netherlands, it's just enamel. If you went into a Dutch paint store and asked for marine enamel or interior paint, they'd look at, like, at you like you came from Mars. Uh, uh, the Dutch have never understood the, the benefit to be gained by making a lower quality paint for interior use, quite simply. So a Dutchman will use the same enamel on his kitchen cabinets, his front door, and on his sailboat. They're all paints that share one thing in common. They're made to be the best they can be. Why downgrade the finish for a less stressful use? It stands to reason if it's going to last in the North Sea on a sailboat, it's going to hold up extremely well in a kitchen environment. So these, these paints are made without filler and extender. So you're dealing with high quality resins, titanium dioxide, and the particular solvent which we sell for use with these coatings when thinning is required. Okay? Uh, as you're aware, there are changes in the law now. We can't really safely advocate thinning or legally advocate thinning. Uh, it says on all of our cans under normal environmental conditions, thinning is not required. So these products are now sold really officially for, for cleanup purposes.